Hey guys, Mond86 here, here with the Briggs & Stratton V-Twin, and here with the Manco 606 Scorpion. Now before I do the engine change and start working on that, we're going to give this uh, cart one last speed run and see how fast it can go, and then uh, we'll have something to compare it to once we install the new motor. There'll probably be a big difference, but uh, let's just see what it's got. The six and a half horsepower Subaru Robin, single cylinder, 169 cc. And the max speed run was 29 miles per hour. Just got back with the speed run with the Manco 606. We hit 30 miles an hour. And we definitely have the products here to help this go-kart go faster, have a lot more torque, and be a lot more fun. Okay, let's see what's in the box of goodies here from Go Power Sports. Pretty sure you're wondering what's inside. All right, let's take a peek. All right, got our motor mount, we have our 40 series torque converter, we got our belt here, Comet series, the packing here. We have our new chain and last but not least the rest of our torque converter 40 series. That's going to be helping the 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton get the torque to the wheels. All right. Thank you Go Power Sports. Right, we have our 40 series drive and driven unit here. And this is for a one inch bore, which the Briggs and Stratton has. So this will just slide on with the quarter P way. And you can definitely tell that this is really good quality. No blemishes on it, just good solid torque converter. We have our motor mount. belt and our new chain just sitting here looking at the Manco 606 along with the Vanguard 16 horsepower v-twin and the 40 series torque converter belt motor mount and chain from go power sports thank you Tim and everybody at go power sports if you need anything go-kart related, just visit them at www.gopowersports.com. Thank you very much. All right, let's get to removing the old motor. Start unbolting everything here so we can get this motor out. It's coming here and this throttle cable. Okay, once we get this taken off, we can remove the belt. Next, we're going to be moving the four bolts. All right. Now there are four bolts holding this engine down to the frame. We're going to remove them. There's going to be two in the back and there's going to be two on the front. Just going to need a socket on the bottom side and a wrench on the top. All right, we have the four bolts here on the bottom. Just need a half inch deep well for them. Just a wrench on the top side. Now that we got the four bolts removed, so the engine is moving pretty freely now. Let's try to get this chain off here on the bottom. Okay, got the chain off. Now we 
I could try to rest this chain off the sprocket. All right. Chain is removed. Okay, let's try to get this thing out of here. That was easy. Turns out we don't have to remove the bolts. Just grab the cover and kind of shimmy it on out of here. There we go. And this is what lies underneath. Okay, here we have the old motor mount. Now here is the new one. Looks like that'll uh, weld up fairly easy. It might even bolt up. I don't know. We got to check it out. So uh, let's try to get the motor in here and see uh, see how this all lines up. Okay, getting the uh, Briggs and Stratton engine in is. Just going to be a little bit harder. I put this thing up on jack stands so I can drop the engine cradle down so I'll have more space between here to fit the engine in. And then once the engine's in, I can bolt it back up. Okay, we're moving the bolts out of the top of the shock so we can lower the bottom of the engine cradle. All right. Get this uh, bad boy in there. That's one. Heavy. Son of a oh. Okay, I think I'm just going to get this tab right here and bend it up for now because in the near future we will be replacing this big old bulky exhaust and I could probably bend that back down and use it. Okay just for clearance since this is a tight fit and this is a huge exhaust on here but if you taking that heat shield off real quick give me a couple more inches of playroom. I have the Vanguard in here right now the motor mount is not secured but I have it up here for mock-up purposes and it looks pretty good. It looks full in there, but it looks good. I just have the aftermarket motor mount plate sitting on top of the stock motor mount plate. And I have it just kind of pushed into position. And this is what we have. You can probably put on the torque converter and see if that fits. Okay, let's try to get this uh, torque converter in here. All right, everybody, well, this concludes day one of the uh, engine transplant to the Manco 606, and that is a 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton V-Twin. I have the 40 series torque converter installed, except for the one on the crankshaft. I need a longer chain, but everything you've seen here in the video, I'll put a link in the description to, and for all your go-kart parts and needs, visit www.gopowersports.com. Alright guys, have a good one. Monday to 6, out.